Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca and I'm an educator at the North Carolina Arboretum. Eco Explorer is a program that lets you help scientists and earn cool badges and prizes in the process. Learn more on our website, ecoexplorer.net. On this bird break, we'll be learning about one of my favorite species and one that I'm lucky enough to work with as an ornithologist, the Northern Saw Wet Owl. Say that three times fast. Measuring in at only about seven to eight inches in height, the northern sawwet owl is one of the smallest owls in the world and weighs only about as much as a tennis ball. To the naked eye, it looks about the size of a robin and has brown wings, a white chest and stomach with brown streaks, and then a really round head that's brown and white spotted. Between those gorgeous yellow eyes, it has this white V that sort of makes it look like it's wearing a superhero mask. For me, the song of the Sawwet is one of the most unbelievable in the world of birds. And I don't mean that, it's complicated. It's just that the noise sounds something like a computer or a microwave might make rather than a real live living bird. It's this steady sound that sort of goes like two, 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 on and on like this. And sometimes there's a shriek or a wail added onto the end. I won't try to imitate that. So where do we find these birds? Generally speaking, at higher elevations. But sawwets have been spotted all across the state, even as far east as the Outer Banks. We're lucky to have a resident and a migratory population right here in North Carolina. These secretive birds love dense thickets and forests, especially of pine and conifer trees, like the ones you see back behind me. And in the winter, because it gets so cold on those mountaintops, you can actually find sawwets at lower elevations. So your best opportunity to see a sawwet owl is during the colder months and during the day when they'll actually be roosting in those pine and conifer trees. Like most owl species, sawwets are nocturnal, meaning most active at night. They also have something called zygodactyl toes, which is just a fancy science way of saying two in the front and two in the back, with which they can really clamp down and hold on to prey items like small rodents or even birds if you're a sawwet owl. They may be cute and cuddly and totally huggable, but they are also fierce predators. And my favorite fact about the sawwet owl is that they glow. No, really. Under ultraviolet light, the flight feathers of the sawwet owl light up neon pink because of the presence of this chemical in them called porphyrin. It's a pigment that, to our naked eye, gives those feathers a brown color. The older porphyrin is, the more it degrades and starts to break down, so older feathers under ultraviolet light appear browner, whereas newer feathers and ones recently molted in by a bird will appear that bright pink. So we actually use ultraviolet light in the field to age these birds. Thanks for tuning into this bird break. Good luck out there, have fun, and keep exploring.